Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Adil Suleiman from General Directorate of Infection Prevention and Control. Today we will be talking about the comprehensive infection prevention and control measures against the Candida auris. This lecture it is related to the Candida auris prevention strategy. Candida auris is a recently identified candida species that has been associated with infection and outbreaks in healthcare setting on five contents. It has been isolated from a range of pathocytes, including skin, urogenital tract, respiratory tract, and resulted in invasive infections such as candidemia, pericarditis, urinary tract infection, and pneumonia. Accordingly, it is significant to implement infection prevention and control measures effectively in order to prevent the transmission. Do you think that the infection prevention and control measures it is significant to prevent the spread of Candida auris in the healthcare facilities? We will see, inshallah, in the next slide. One study it will be approved that the implementation of infection prevention and control measures it will be prevent the spread of the candida auris inside the healthcare facilities. According to this study, infection control measures against the candida auris in healthcare facilities, the implementation of the infection control measures it will be play a critical role in preventing and controlling the candida auris outbreaks and reduce the mortality rate in the healthcare setting. Infection prevention and control measures against the Candida auris. The mode of transmission of the Candida auris. Uh, candida auris it can be spread in the hospital and other healthcare facility through the contact with any surfaces or equipment that already contaminated with the Candida auris. And also, it can be spread from the person who is already uh, uh, colonized or infected with the Candida auris to another person. That means it will be transmitted by the contact with the uh, contaminated surfaces or equipment. And also, it can be spread from the person to another person due to the cases of infected or colonized with the Candida auris. Infection prevention and control measures. We should be apply and implement the infection prevention and control measures in the healthcare facilities, especially in the department that have already patient colonized or infected with the Candida auris. Strict adherence to the proper hand hygiene practices. The hand hygiene practices it is the simplest and very important practices that it will be prevent the spread of the infection inside the healthcare facilities. We should be know that the hand the healthcare practitioner, according to the international references, it is the uh, first cause to spread the infection inside the healthcare facility. That means we should be take a care uh, for the hand hygiene practices. We should be apply proper hand hygiene practices as the five moment for the hand hygiene. Also, we need to application of the contact based precaution. In addition to the standard precaution for any patient who is already colonized or infected with the candida auris, enhancing the environmental cleaning and disinfecting, they should be have daily and terminal cleaning, and we should use the recommended disinfectant. Reusable equipment should be have properly cleaned and disinfected with the recommended also disinfectant, and also we need to be focusing on the shared mobile equipment like the glucometer, blood pressure cuff. Limit patient transfer, and if we have any medical necessity to transfer the patient inside the healthcare facility, like for another department, X-ray or any another department, or we will be transferred the patient to another healthcare facility, we should be strictly apply the infection control measures. Also, we need for screening contact of newly identified cases patients, including the healthcare worker 
to we will be identify any candida or colonization cases. Laboratory surveillance of the clinical specimen should be applied to detect additional cases. Now we will talk about the hand hygiene. And as we mentioned before that the hand hygiene, it is the simplest practices and it is very important practices to prevent the spread of the infection inside the healthcare facility. As we mentioned before that the hand hygiene is one of the most effective simple and inexpensive intervention that help to reduce the incidence of the healthcare associated infection. Also, we should be strict adherence to the five moments of the hand hygiene, especially if we have any uh, uh, colonized or infected uh, candida or patient. And also the healthcare worker hand hygiene compliance rate, it should be monitored. We should be monitored in general the hand hygiene compliance rate in the healthcare facility. We should be monitored the hand hygiene line straight by the departmental and we should be informed the uh, supervisor for the department about uh, the hand hygiene compliance rate for them department and if we have any law of the hand hygiene compliance rate or the hand hygiene compliance rate it is not to the uh, expected level we should be have corrective acting action plan to we will be improve the hand hygiene compliance rate for the hand hygiene compliance rate, we should be used different mean or type of hand hygiene uh, monitoring. We should be used the direct observation, self-reporting also, and the supply consumption. Also, we should be know that the alcohol-based hand sanitizer, it is preferred hand hygiene method for the candida oris, only if our hand it is not visible soil. But if our hand it is already visible soil, we should be washed with soap and water. This is the hand washing poster. It is from the uh, WHO or for the World Health Organization. It is have the correct technique for the hand washing. We should be know that the hand washing it is should be from 40 to the 60 second. This poster have 11 steps for the correct uh, technique of the hand washing. Please follow these steps to be sure that you are apply correct technique for the hand washing poster it will be explain the correct steps for the hand drop or for alcohol hand drop as we mentioned before that alcohol hand drop it's preferred to be used it if we have any patient he is colonized or infected with the candida oris only if our hand it is not visibly soil we should be know that the duration of alcohol hand drop it is from 20 to 30 second please uh, uh, review this poster and you should be follow the correct steps for the alcohol hand drop now we will be talk about the patient placement inside healthcare facility. As we mentioned before, that any patient he is colonized or infected with the candida oris, he should be under standard and contact precaution. Patient he should be placed or we need to put the patient in a single room whenever possible, and this room it should be occupied with the hand washing sink and with bathroom.
appropriate isolation precaution sign it should be used and posted clearly outside the isolation room do not place it inside the room it should be posted clearly outside the isolation room and this isolation precaution sign it should be by two language by english and by arabic also the door of the isolation room it should be closed all the time do you think we need to place the colonized or infected patient with candida oris in the negative pressure room we will be discover that in the next slide the answer for the previous questions do not put any patient who is colonized or infected with the candida oris in the negative pressure room except if the same patient is under airborne isolation precaution in addition to the standard and contact precaution that means the single isolation room it is enough for any patient who is colonized or infected with the candida oris and he is under only the standard and contact precaution what we do if we doesn't have a single isolation room or when the single isolation room are not available we will see also in the next slide if we doesn't have any single isolation rooms or it is not available we should be cohort patients with the candida oris together in the same room based on the infection prevention and control recommendation and also we should be maintain a distance of the three feet or more between patient beds indicating healthcare personnel nurses or nursing assistant who provide regular care for this patient during a shift that means if we have any patients colonized or infected with the candida oris we should be have dedicated staff nurse or nurse assistant they will be only responsible to they will be give a care for this patient and also as we mentioned before that any patient who is colonized or infected with the candida oris he will be under standard and contact precaution we need to wear isolation gown and gloves with proper donning and doffing technique when we are giving a care for this patient or when will be touch any contaminated item or the patient environment after giving the care for the patient you need to be remove the gown and gloves and you need to dispose of this personal protective equipment carefully you take a care when you are remove, uh, removing the personal protective equipment the gown and gloves because at the doffing uh, steps the personal protective equipment it will be contaminated and you need to perform a hand hygiene when you are leaving the patient room or the bed this personal protective equipment you should be remove it before you will leave the patient room or the environment of the patient and also you need to be or don't use the same gloves or same uh, gown same personal protective equipment for another patient even if they are already cohorted in the same room and they have the same microorganism you need to be changed the personal protective uh, between the patient you need to be donning and the doffing personal protective equipment in the corrective uh, steps as we mentioned before if we have any patient who is colonized or infected with the candida oris this patient he should be under standard and contact precaution that means the patient he should be inside or place the patient in isolation single room and we need to be limit the transportation for the patient only if we have any medical necessary now we will be talk if we have medical necessary to transfer the patient inside the healthcare facility limit the transportation of patient under contact isolation precaution by using the portable machine such as the portable x-ray machine but if we need to transfer the patient to another department we should be notified the designated department about the patient infectious status and inform them about the transmission based precaution to they will be apply when they are receiving the patient for transport patient colonized or infected with the candida oris and he is under contact isolation precaution we should be contain and cover all skin lesions and infected or colonized wound if available with the clean bandage or dressing we need to instruct the patient to wear clean gown and clean linen should be used when you are transferring the patient please use isolation precaution transportation card if we have any planned procedure for the infected or colonized candida or patient can be prepared to the end of the list if this will be not affect the patient safety 
like if we have any elective operation or CT scan procedure for the patient, this patient, he will be the last patient they will be do the procedure for him. But we mentioned if it is not, will be affect the patient safety. Now we will talk about transfer patient. He is already colonized or infected with the candida oris to other hospital or other healthcare facility. If we are going to transfer patient to another hospital or another healthcare facility, and this patient he is still colonized or infected with the candida oris, the transferring hospital they are responsible to, they will be informed the receiving healthcare facility about the isolation precaution need for this patient, and the transfer form it should be filled and completed at the time. Now we will be have talk about the infection prevention and control recommendation for the visitor for the patient he is already colonized or infected with the candida oris. For entry of the single isolation room for patient he is already colonized or infected with the candida oris and this patient now he is under standard and contact precaution, it should be restricted only for the responsible healthcare worker. But if there is any exception, the exception only will be considered case-to-case -case basis after the consultation with the treating physician and the infection prevention and control department. At that time, if the visitor or caregiver are permitted, they should be have comprehensive training and education about the required infection prevention and control measures should be provided to the visitor or for the caregivers. Patient care equipment. If Candida oris has been identified on mobile or reusable equipment that's already shared between the patient, like the glucometer, blood pressure cuff, x-ray machine, nursing cart, and the crush cart, and it is better or advisable to we will be use the single use equipment when it is available, or we need to dedicate the equipment to the patient. All healthcare workers providing patient care should be trained in and responsible for cleaning and disinfecting mobile and reusable equipment properly by using the approved Ministry of Health disinfectant. Please refer to the best guidance of the selecting, evaluating, and monitoring of the infection prevention and control supply and equipment. Here you can see the link. This link will lead you to the General Directorate of Infection Prevention and Control website. You will be found all the guidelines for the environmental cleaning and disinfecting. Management of textile and medical waste for any patient colonized or infected with the candida oris. For the colonized or infected patient with the candida oris, we should be use the disposable textile if it is available in the hospital, such as the curtains or the towels. But if it is not available in the healthcare facility, we will be use the reusable textile and we should be clean and disinfect by sending to the laundry and we should be mentioned here that there is no special reprocessing recommendation for the used linen and the textile they will be follow the current policy of the healthcare textile reprocessing and they should be applied for the pediatric and neonatal unit specific attention should be paid to the disposal of the used nappies and also, we should be mentioned that the medical waste coming from the candida oris positive patient room, it should be treated based on the approved national medical waste regulation. Decolonization for the candida oris positive patient. According to the international references like the CDC, there is no specific intervention is no to reduce or eliminate the candida oris colonization. That means we need to be focused in the duration of transmission-based precaution that we will be talk about it, inshallah, in the next slides. Now, we will talk about the duration of transmission-based precaution for any patient who is colonized or infected with the candida oris. Patient in healthcare facility, he will be remain colonized with the candida oris for long period of time will be for several months even if the acute infection of the candida oris it will be treated and resolved that means it will be recommended to be continue the contact isolation precaution for all the duration of all inpatient healthcare stays including those in the long-term healthcare setting that means the patient if he is still in the hospital he should be under the contact isolation precaution 
all the time he will be admitted in the hospital. Facilitating adherence to the infection prevention and control measures. Healthcare facility should have administrative support to ensure that adequate supply, like the hand hygiene supply, cleaning and disinfect uh, agent, personal protective equipment, it should be available to implement and maintain an appropriate of infection prevention and control measures in the healthcare facility. Also, to monitor the adherence to appropriate infection prevention and control practices by performing audit and providing feedback. Ensure that the isolation sign it is already available and it's already posted on the patient door. It should be from the outside, not inside the door, to alert the healthcare worker and the visitor about the recommended precaution. And also, you need to flag the patient record to alert the healthcare worker to institute recommended infection prevention and control practices in case of readmission of the patient. Now, we will talk about very important part. It is the education and training inside the healthcare facility about the infection prevention and control measures for the candida oris. There should be training and education inside the healthcare facility about the infection prevention and control measures. We need to raise awareness and provide education to all healthcare workers inside this healthcare facility to prevent and we can manage the candida oris infection. Also, the education and practices audit to improve the compliance of the healthcare worker with the hand hygiene, contact precaution and supervision of the appropriate implementation of the environmental cleaning it is important supportive intervention also the physicians and other health professional like the dietitian radiologist they should be also trained in the relation of the infection prevention and control recommendation don't focus only about the nurse all the healthcare worker inside this healthcare facility they should be have a training and education. Also, the patient visitors and the family member, if it is already permitted to they will be visit, they should be have education about the importance of the hand hygiene and encouraged to use the required personal protective equipment. This is the General Directorate of Infection Prevention and Control Communication Channels. We have the YouTube, Telegram, Twitter, and website. You will find all the guidelines tools, education materials for the infection prevention and control uh, department. I hope this lecture was useful for all of you. Thank you for all of you.